It was a huge 67-59 win for the Badgers as they handed eighth-ranked Iowa their first home loss of the season here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. We've played in a lot of hostile environments, and I think everybody, everybody on the team from top to bottom has matured a lot over the over the over the season. This game showed how far the Badgers have come. They were up one at halftime, but the Hawkeyes started the second half on a 7-0 run to take the lead. But UW responded with an 8-0 run of its own. We learned a lot uh, against Illinois our last game, playing from behind most of the game, and I knew it was going to be the same way here. I knew we had a run in us. Canning was a big part of that run. He led Wisconsin with 15 points, but the Badgers got a huge game from the bench as they outscored Iowa's bench 23-4. Seems um, shockingly that they always play better in the bigger games, which I guess we'll always take. So, um, you know, Khalil seems uh, Whenever we're playing on the road against a you know, top 10 opponent, he seems to bring his A game. Will Iverson scored nine points, and they were a very loud nine points, throwing down some monster dunks. His favorite? Um, probably the, I think it was the third one, the third or fourth one, the, the one that Vito threw me. Two-hand windmill, ladies and gentlemen. You don't ever see that all the time. That's dunk contest material. So now Wisconsin has beat a pair of top 10 teams on the road for the first time since 1955. The Badgers are going to celebrate this victory, but then it's right back to work as they get set for their final home game of the season Sunday against Michigan. For UWBadgers.com, I'm Brandon Spiegel.